How's it going everybody? Corbin here from Zoco Marketing. If you clicked on this video, you are probably looking to install Google Analytics onto your WordPress website. That is exactly what we're gonna be doing in this video. I'm also gonna show you how to set up your Google Analytics account and how to make sure that that traffic is correctly tracking um, from your WordPress website. So stay tuned, let's jump right in on how to set this up. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start inside of WordPress. So you can see I'm in WordPress right now and we are gonna go here over to plugins and you wanna go to add a new plugin. Once that loads up, you're gonna see a screen that looks something like this and you're gonna to want to search for plugins and we're just gonna type in GA, there we go, GA Google Analytics. Type that in right there. That's gonna load up and we're gonna see a couple different options, but the one that I recommend going with is this GA Google Analytics right now. As you can see, a lot of installs and uh, some good reviews there. So we're gonna to to install this WordPress, WordPress plugin. Give that just a second there. Okay, and once that is installed, you're gonna come here and activate. Perfect, and once that is activated, you're gonna scroll down and go through and find this Google Analytics setting right here. You can also go into the settings over here and you'll notice now that you have a Google Analytics tab right there as well. So, but we're gonna go here and we're gonna click in settings. And then there's a couple of things that we're gonna note inside of here and uh, update. So we want to go to plugin settings and then Google Analytics tracking ID. You'll notice it's asking now for your Google Analytics ID. Um, tracking method, we are going to use the global site tag and then we're gonna come back to all these settings after we now go through and set up our Google Analytics account. So now we're gonna switch over to Google Analytics. I am on marketingplatform.google.com backslash or forward slash about forward slash analytics. Um, just type in Google Analytics and you'll see a screen that looks something like this. And you want to start your account for free to set up Google Analytics. And it's gonna drop you into something that looks something like this. And for this, we're gonna call this test account, um, Zoco Marketing, because I already have Google Analytics uh, on my account. And for here, you can go through and, and click these if you'd like. I'm just gonna leave the default settings as they are. We're gonna hit next. And then the property name, once again, I'm just gonna call this test. And then you need to make sure that you have the correct time zone that you are in, um, the correct country. So I'm in the United States, so I'm gonna keep this here. That time zone looks good to me. And then the currency that you're using, this is especially important if you are an e-commerce store, make sure that this is correct. And then we are going to hit next after this point. And then now it's Google's, Google's gonna ask you a couple of questions just to analyze what your business type is, what it may be. So it's gonna ask for an industry. You can go through and select one of these. I am just going to do, uh, we'll just do uh, other here and then small business. And then I, my, for my objectives that I wanna do, I wanna measure across platforms. I wanna optimize my advertising costs, increase conversions and analyze my online sales. So those are, you can go through and check these options. It really doesn't matter a ton, to be honest, the, what you check here, it doesn't change anything for you. It's more just Google um, collecting more data uh, on what kind of business you are. So from here, we're gonna hit create. And then you're gonna wanna make sure you go through these terms and conditions and uh, hit also accept, accept. And then now it is going to drop you into your new Google Analytics account. Congratulations, you have a Google Analytics account. And now what we need to do is this is essentially useless if we don't put the code onto our WordPress website, which is why you're here now. And for majority of you, this is gonna be a web thing, especially if you are on WordPress. So we're gonna hit web right here. And then now it's gonna ask you for your website URL. Make sure you, you do what, if you have an HTTP website or an HTTPS. For us, we have an HTTPS. So we're gonna type in our website here, www.zocomarketing.com. And then the stream name, this can be whatever you want to call it, but most of the time you want to call it your website. And because I already mentioned I have a, an account, I'm just going to put a test inside of there. And now we are going to create stream. Uh, and that is going to then give us a couple of other options inside of here. So now we have our stream and this stream is allowing us to get our measurement ID. So you can see here we have the measurement ID in this top right hand corner. We're going to click copy there. And now we're going to go back over to our WordPress website and we're going to start noticing some things that we can fill in the boxes here basically. So we have GA tracking ID. We're gonna copy that in right there, step one done. The next thing you wanna do is make sure you're on the global site tag, the new method as you see here. There's the universal analytics, which is the quote unquote old analytics and then uh, legacy, which is even older. So we wanna make sure we're on the global site tag and then we want to include a tracking code in the head. So make sure that you have this option checked and then we're gonna go back over to Google Analytics and we are going to click on this little um, tab right here, global site tag and we're going to copy that. As you can see, it says global site tag there. We're gonna come back over to WordPress and we are going to paste in this tracking code right there. Make sure that's all looking good. And then for 99% of the people, that is everything you need to do. You don't need to worry about any of these other settings. We wanna go down and then hit save changes. 
wait for that to load up. Now's a great time to remind you, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're finding value in it today. And there, our settings are safe. So now we're gonna go back over to Google Analytics and we're gonna to test to make sure that the traffic is actually tracking correctly. So we're gonna go over here, we're gonna go back to our stream and we're gonna hit uh, exit out of this web stream, web stream details. We're gonna hit back here and we are going to go to our actual account. We're gonna click on these reports here. And then you'll notice right from the beginning, it has a real-time snapshot. And what this does is it allows you to go to your website and test if things are actually working. So we're gonna come here to real time. And as you see, nobody's currently on my site, but we are going to go over to zocomarketing.com. Uh, now we here, are here on the website. We just wanna navigate around a little bit. Um, check out, I got a lot of different free resources, shameless plug, some good tools in here for, for you if you wanna learn digital marketing. We're gonna scroll down, uh, just play around in here a little bit. And then now we are going to go back over to Google Analytics and we're going to refresh this real quick. Oh, and I didn't even need to refresh it. You saw it, it popped up there just for a second. So as you can see, we have one user here. It has the location where I'm at. And as you can see, Google Analytics is now working correctly on our website. So that's all there is to it. You now have Google Analytics set up on your WordPress website. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I will be talking about more advanced methods for Google Analytics and how to set up some really cool tracking things. So be sure to follow along as I create more videos related to Google Analytics. We'll see you in the next video.